All right, guys, we're gonna go through connecting the aux. So what I'm gonna do is we've got everything built, everything plugged up. We're going to plug a USB cable into the gerbil board and the other end into the laptop or computer. I'm using a Windows 64 laptop. I'm gonna to go to cnc.js windows installer it's gonna pull up this and go to desktop app we'll follow this link up here here we have several different desktop app downloads I'm going to select the Windows 64. Now we're going to open up cnc.js. Program pops open in the left hand window under connection. We want to look for Gerbil. We want to make sure that our feed rate is 115200. And then we're going to turn on the machine. We can hear that it sets up. Then we're going to do a refresh here. Make sure that the manufacturer is FTDI. If you got other things plugged in, it may stop them from connecting. I'm going to click open. See a feed out come over here and you notice that in the top of the screen it says we have an alarm. That's perfectly natural. Before we can do anything, jog around, what have you, we need to home the machine. This in the upper right hand top of the screen blue button says homing. And as you can see, the machine is going to move up and down in the Z first, and then move towards the back of the Y and facing the machine, the right of the X. Once it finds home, then our alarm will go off and we'll be ready to set our machine uh, workpiece zero. Now the machine is fully homed and you'll notice at the top of our screen we're Gerbil Idle and we're also able to move around now. If I click the Y negative button down here on the Axis tab, you can see I can move the machine down. Now if I want to move more than one, I use this little User Defined button and now I'm moving at 10, increments of 10. I'm using millimeters. Alright, so now I'm going to Z down a little bit. And if this were my, hopefully I didn't go too far. I did go too far. <laughs> Pretty funny. If I wanted to machine something, then I'm going to go over here and do uh, the uh, machine tabs on each one of these axes. These three buttons right next to X. I'm going to say zero out X axis zero out Y axis, zero out Z axis. Now you should be ready to, blue tab in the center of the screen, upload your G code and hit the play button. And that's it guys, you're a CNCer. Great job. See you on the next one.